YouTube, this is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. I uh, wanted to do an update on uh, MindMed. I uh, covered this one, did a video about it. Uh, looks like back on uh, February 28th, I'll uh, go ahead and link that in the uh, description so you can find that one. Uh, but this is uh, MindMed, uh, ticker is MMEDF. And this is in the, uh, it's one of the uh, psychedelics. It's uh, one of the main psychedelics. Uh, I covered some other psychedelics here on the channel. I'll go ahead and link that video in the uh, description as well. If you don't know much about psychedelics, that kind of gives you a little bit more um, information. Uh, but it's kind of cool, uh, interesting uh, product. And uh, we'll go over it here eventually. Uh, but this is kind of what it's done for the day. Started out uh, kind of on the uh, dip and ran up. And you can see the volume pumping in there. And it's just been kind of up and down, and it's been kind of trading kind of sideways here as of uh, lately. So this one trades over the counter. Um, if you don't have, or if you're only trading on Robinhood, you won't be able to trade this one. You'll need a platform that trades over the counter. So I always recommend TD Ameritrade. You're probably going to be paying a commission if you trade it there. Um, if you can, buy this one on uh, Fidelity. They don't charge a commission, so it's kind of a nice... Uh, part to uh, Fidelity, uh, but the ticker is MMEDF. It's two dollars and seventy-seven cents. And the article that I come across is uh, Kevin O'Leary. I'm sure you've all heard of him. Talks crypto psychedelics and the importance of investment and diversification. And I also uh, stress the importance of uh, investment diversification. I'm kind of uh, maybe what some people would say too diverse. I have uh, dividend stocks. I have 5G, AT&T, um, Verizon, um, Amazon, uh, not much Google, some uh, Facebook, some uh, Microsoft for big tech. I used to have, um, um, I have a Disney and quite a few other ones and some other dividend stocks so it is uh, good to be uh, diversified and they also have some uh, bank stocks so i kind of cover it all so when one's down the others are up and vice versa so uh, but investor and shark tank star kevin o'leary recently sat down with benzinga or i call it here on the channel if you follow sheldon uh, buzzinga to discuss a wide range of subjects including his recent pivot to psychedelics and some people go back and forth with whether they like um, MJ stocks, which I cover a lot here on the channel, as well as psychedelics. Um, but there's always the uh, talk of whether people like um, MJ stocks or uh, psychedelics or which one is uh, better. But um, I just say uh, go for both. Why not diversify into both of them? But I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice, but... Uh, but back to uh, Kevin, his new investment in crypto, uh, which I've covered on the channel as well, as well as his desire to help Americans save for their retirement. And that's why he started the channel as well as uh, everybody needs to save for their retirement. Um, even if you're 20 years old, you have more uh, time on your side. So um, just start off with one stock, even if it's $10, and just start somewhere. Uh, Mr. O'Leary uh, dubbed uh, Mr. Wonderful cited regulatory shifts and prosperous signs as a reason for his interest in two niche markets. Uh, significant pivot on crypto. Uh, O'Leary recently put 3% of his portfolio in Bitcoin, uh, which I think he's worth. I can't remember what he's worth, so that's probably a pretty significant amount. Uh, 3% doesn't sound like much, but when you have uh, millions, that's quite a bit. And Bitcoin, after opposing the e-currency for several years, he says the shift was brought on in part by evolving regulatory stances in Canada, Switzerland, and other nations. I am very compliant, and I make sure that all the companies that I invest, are, invest in are, he said. After initially adding crypto to his holding in 2017, the 3% investment now places him in the space in a more significant fashion. Warm on psychedelics, not on MJ. Shifting regulations also got a Larry into psychedelic space, including his 2019 investment in MindMed, 
and mind meds probably my favorite it is one of the uh, more popular uh, psychedelic plays so if you're looking to um, get into these um, this is the uh, one that I would start with but again I don't give tax legal or trading advice the investor uh, balked at psychedelics for some time due to its federal legal status the sentiment mirrors his current stance on MJ and its RICO statute concerns so we'll see um, how the uh, MJ goes over the uh, next two to five years I'm in it for the long term as uh, well as uh, psychedelics so uh, while MJ remains excluded from his portfolio O'Leary's opinion on psychedelics shifted after speaking with MindMed CEO and founder J.R. Run and feel free to uh, pause and uh, read the rest there yourself a conservative market approach to long-term gains O'Leary credits his mother a hard-working Lebanese immigrant factory worker who saved portions of each paycheck from the 1950s until her passing for shaping his investment strategy uh, so right there you go if um, she can do it uh, anybody can uh, no disrespect but just a uh, statement of fact um, um, here you have an Im immigrant factory worker and whether you be blue collar white collar um, everybody needs to be uh, putting aside for their investment strategy and find a strategy and um, stick to it so investing in the S&P and telco bonds he remembered his mother saying people would turn off their heat before they would turn off their phone her passing would reveal her strategy and saving to her two sons which motivated O'Leary's strategy to this day so very interesting story O'Leary urges people to put a hundred side one hundred dollars from each paycheck and invest it as a way to de-risk their lives over the ensuing decades the average salary being 55,000 in America and you really you really go to think there's a way he said suggesting day traders do the same with 10% of their earnings so 10% if you're not making much um, probably sounds like a lot but um, once you start it you'll get used to it so and back to um, reddit here Not too much uh, recent news on uh, MindMed. This is back to uh, stock twits. See if we can find any other information here that I haven't covered yet. Not really any other information that I haven't already covered but like I said if you have any uh, shares of uh, MindMed go ahead and put that in the uh, comments as well as what your cost basis is and I'm sure I'll be doing more updated videos here on um, MindMed so again and if you haven't smashed that like button go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribe in and hit that bell so you're notified of when the uh, next uh, videos drop so again this is j money falling forward financial happy trading happy investing stay green cheers